Welcome to February. Yes, it is the month of love. And here at the Oldish, we're all in favor of love. And judging by the number of hits we get on the articles that we post on our website, which is theoldish.com, about love and sexuality at an older age, you're just as interested. So we're going to talk about that today. My name is Karen Brown, and I'm the publisher and editor of The Oldish, and it is my pleasure to welcome you here. I hope you're having a great February, and I hope that when Valentine's Day rolls around, that you will have someone special to share the day with. If not, that's okay too, because lots of us are single and don't really want somebody in our space. But as I said, there are lots of you out there who do, and you search our website pretty much on a daily basis. I see the numbers for certain articles going up, up, up. And now that we're in February, they're up even higher. So I want to show you some of the more popular ones that people are searching. Let's take a peek. So again, the website is theoldish.com. And here is one, Love, Sex, and Older Age. I love that picture. Don't those two just look adorable? Yes. So this one is all about the importance of remaining sexual and having somebody to be intimate with, enjoying a good laugh, sharing your life. That's a pretty good thing to have, right? Now remember, when we talk about sex, we're not necessarily always talking about intercourse. Sexuality comes in many forms, so don't be fooled by that. Finding love in unexpected places. This article is all about being ready and being open to possibilities. And I think that a lot of you really are. You know, I think that for some people who may have had long marriages and perhaps have been divorced or have lost their spouse or their partner to a disease of some kind, you have an awful lot of years ahead of you. You don't always want to be alone. Maybe you don't want another marriage, but being open to have the joy that your first marriage brought you. Hopefully your first marriage brought you joy, yeah? Okay, let's hope it did. All right, but as I said, this one is all about being open and grocery stores are apparently still a great place to meet people. So it gives some advice about being approachable, put your phones away, scan for wedding rings. Yes, that's important. Start a conversation. Yep, that's important too. Alrighty, now we get into some scientific data. Health and sexuality are linked. Yes, they are. Those endorphins, you know, we want the endorphins to be snapping and our lives to be happy, joyful, open. And love is one of those things that makes those endorphins dance and sing. So be open and enjoy your time together because it is absolutely related to your health and you want to stay healthy, right? Okay, so this one we've looked at, let's move on. Now seniors themselves are rating sex as important to their quality of life. You know, for some people, for some people, when the kids go away, they have another opportunity to meet their partner or their spouse all over again. Do you understand that? You've been so busy and focused on the kids and raising them and what schools they're going to and getting dinner on the table and busy, 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 and then they're gone and you have each other. Now for some people, that's the kiss of death. I hear you. For other people though, that is a very joyous time in their lives when they get to reconnect and remember why they fell in love in the first place. So in this particular survey that was done, seniors are rating sex as very important to their quality of life. I understand that. Now here's a question. Is good sex dangerous for older men? You can read the article, but I'm gonna give you a hint. No, it's not. So have at it, have fun, be yourself, be with your partner, enjoy your life. And of course you have to listen to your doctor. If your doctor tells you that certain things need to be avoided, 
then you need to avoid those certain things. But overall, good sex is important for your continued happiness. And as we just said with the previous article, keeping those endorphins snapping, it's always a good thing. Now, the other one I want to show you, this is for the people who maybe aren't so happy with their partners after the kids leave home. And you're not sure that you really know this person or want to know this person who's sharing your home. Older adults are in fact more likely to have extramarital sex. Imagine, the theme of this article is all about gray divorce and it does indeed talk about this, this shift in people having affairs. But you know, older adults have more time on their hands and if they are finding themselves at loose ends, if they are finding themselves not as thrilled with what's going on at home, or also, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here, there are a lot of people who truly believe that when they marry, they are married until death do us part. And if their partner is somebody who is challenged with dementia, that kind of intimacy that used to be so much a part of their lives may be lacking, but they're still very devoted. So, you know, having a little affair, if you can wrap your head around the morality of the issue, no judgment from me, then this is a very uh, important part of people's lives to ha be intimate, to have an open marriage. Um, monogamy may be something that they intended, but circumstances alter cases. So, you know, that's, um, that's all a super interesting topic, but just think about the love in your life. And I know that we all have love from our children, from friends. We can get the endorphins snapping in lots of different ways. But as we are now into the month of February, and it is the month of love, albeit a hallmark vacation, that's fine. It gets us all thinking because there are more cards, there are more flowers floating around and you can't help but see it. So if you are somebody who is interested in knowing about love in an older stage of life, go to the website, theoldish.com and you will find tons of articles in the search bar, type love. Like so many of you are doing, you can also type sex, up to you. It's one of the nice things about the internet. You know, you can get information about um, what's, what the trends are and about things that you want to have information about, but you're a little too shy to discuss them with friends. So in the privacy of your own home, you can look on our website and you can find all kinds of information about love in older years. Don't deny yourself. Be open to the possibilities. That is our show for today. I hope you have a wonderful month of love in February. And I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday for another edition of The Oldish TV. In the meanwhile, please do take care of one another. Remember that it does take a village to age a senior. Music